Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Ebin Jules, an interventional radiology resident. And in this video, I'll be telling you about the top 10 reasons what made me take radiology as my specialty branch. So this video will help all the MBBS aspirants and even need PG aspirants and help you decide if radiology is the branch that you really like. Reason one would be I get to work on the whole body, not just one part. Because you're going to report from head to toe of each and every disease, the imaging findings and the imaging manifestations. For example, let's take about the brain. So in CT, MRI, etc., you're going to report about the brain tumors, any infections, any um, aneurysms, AVMs, etc. So there's a whole spectrum in the brain. The same thing applies for the neck, then for the chest, you have the lung tumors, you have cardiac tumors, then you come to the abdomen, each and every organ will have a spectrum of diseases, there will be infection, tumors, etc. And then um, when it comes to women's imaging, you have, uh, you know, you take care of the breast imaging and even uterus, ovaries. And you have angio angiographies like, you know, CT, MR, angiography of the hand, of the leg, that will tell you about the vascular diseases. It's also fetal medicine where you can diagnose the disease or any syndrome the child is having even before the child is even born. Another one is musculoskeletal system where, you know, you do imaging of the bones, of the tendons, of the ligaments. That really helps the orthopedician and even sports injury. So that's the beauty of radiology where you're going to report head to toe and every day you're going to read about something else and you're going to learn something new. Reason two would be radiology is like the backbone of the hospital because uh, like gone are the times where you know things are a clinical diagnosis. It is majority are a radiological diagnosis. Even when the clinician knows okay it is this disease they have to confirm because they need it on paper even for documentation let it be medical legal purposes or just to be sure they have to send to radiology so everything goes through you and a patient gets admission the and one of the basic workups would be a radiological workup reason three would be that it is a very peaceful branch where you know you're not you know, in chaos you can sit in a corner you can put your earphones on you can be in your own zone and see cases and it is pretty relaxed and the only thing is, you know, uh, you don't directly get to interact with patients. You are away uh, from the patients and also away from the action. But you contributed a lot to the hospital on the basis of diagnosis. You will be a doctor's doctor. You will be in constant contact with all the uh, doctors in the hospital. So whether it's a neurologist or a neurosurgeon, you know, they will they will call you or they'll come see you and they'll be like, okay, let's discuss the CT on MRI. And they will tell you what are the clinical cues they have and you can tell, okay, this could be this, this could be that. And you'll be constantly in touch with the physicians and the surgeons, let it be oncosurgeons, orthopedicians, uh, obstetricians, etc. So it's really interesting and you'll be, you'll be in a collaborative uh, environment with all the doctors in the hospital. But the negative thing is, you know, the patient won't know you for the work you do. But however, the doctors will know you and the doctors will really, really value what you bring to the table. So on a good day, you're going to read maybe, you know, 50 to 70 scans and you're going to report them. So in a way, you are actually helping uh, 50 to 60 patients with their diagnosis. If your diagnosis is right, it's actually going to help their management and really help them out. Even though they don't know it, you're actually contributing a lot. And that is pretty inf impactful for the time you put and the efforts you put. The paperwork is actually minimal in this branch. Why? Because you don't uh, write the charts, you don't write the notes, follow-ups, etc. of the patients. And you don't go on rounds. All you have to do is you see the scan, you see the history, lab values, you correlate, you come to a diagnosis. You just dictate on a dictation software. It will make the report based on your dictation and you can sign it off and it ends there. So radiology is the forefront of technology and medical innovation. So you're going to deal with new machines, new software, and uh, if you are a tech lover, you're going to love this branch. If you're a visual learner, I would say radiology is your forte because you have to have a solid memory on how each disease will look like on imaging. And uh, if you have a good visual memory, it will really help you in reporting and, you know, finding out these minute diagnoses in each scans. Finally, when you come to the most important thing, that is work-life balance. So here in this branch, it's it's a nine to four, or you can literally dictate your timing. You can work in corporate, you can work in a diagnostic center, you can decide your timings. I'm going to work only nine to one, or maybe one to four, or four to six, and you can work in multiple places. And there is once you're done with the reporting, you don't have a lot of responsibilities. So I think um, the work-life balance is great because you can actually spend time with your you know family. And with your friends, you can carry out your hobby, hobbies like, you know, you like uh, playing games, you like tennis, you like going out, vacations, etc. 
so in that way i think you know work life balance is great and that is um, a most important factor that separates from other branches and the last one i would say would be money because uh, when you say uh, once you just finished your dnb or an md you're going to get at least 2 to 2.5 lakhs per month and uh, no other branch will fetch you that much other than maybe let's say nuclear medicine immediately after it so if you work in diagnostic center you can earn maybe 5 to 6 or you know uh, 6 to 7 lakhs in many areas of india maybe a tier 2 city or a tier 3 city so in that way uh, the earning is great especially when you pass out so that is also a motivation for many doctors because you wouldn't be you would be in that latent period and you wouldn't be earning till your you know finish your post graduation so if you want an early settlement i think radiology will definitely help you out with that and the most important um, reason why i took radiology is to take up interventional radiology so if you have an inter- interest in intervention radiology radiology is the route you have to take and suppose uh, once you're done with radiology you feel that you want to continue in this relax right you can go ahead with your diagnostic radiology but you always have an option to switch to intervention if you're missing out on the action and even the patient interaction so i've come to the end of the video i hope you liked it uh, so kindly like share and subscribe thank you